Who said what and when? Introducing speech and audio signal processing technology for conversation scene analysis, which automatically analyzes a conversation scene involving several people. What does analysis of a conversation scene mean? It means automatically analyzing the scene in order to identify which participant is saying what, who is attracting attention, what is the mood of the scene, and what is the central topic. To be able to analyze a conversation scene, it is necessary to automatically process speech and to extract a variety of information from the processing results. Input speech is processed in two stages, audio signal processing and speech recognition. The recorded audio signals contain not only the speech of the target speaker, but also background noise, the voices of non-target speakers, reverberation, etc. To automatically suppress such interference signals, Various speech enhancement technologies are employed, such as noise reduction, de-reverberation, and sound source separation technologies. So, how do we distinguish the voice of the target speaker from interference signals, and how do we suppress only those interferences? We can use unique characteristics of speech for this purpose. The first characteristic we can use is spatial information. Generally, sounds coming from different locations reach the microphone via different propagation paths. Differences in propagation paths can be used to distinguish the target speech from the interference component. The second characteristic of speech is its unique frequency pattern. The frequency pattern of speech is quite different from noise generated by non-human objects. This difference can be used to clearly distinguish speech from noise. NTT Communication Science Laboratories have developed speech enhancement technology that takes advantage of these speech-specific characteristics and makes it possible to suppress unwanted sound more accurately. Let's listen to the effect of speech enhancement. The speech signal is automatically converted into text information using speech recognition technology. A speech recognition system converts input speech into a string of words using an acoustic model which models the speech in units of phonemes such as a, i, and e, and a language model which models the likelihood of a sequence of words. For example, the word thank is highly likely to be followed by the word you. However, compared with red speech that is carefully controlled by the speaker, conversational speech, which is uttered spontaneously, can be fragmented, containing unclear sounds or missing out some phonemes. Conventional speech models cannot properly deal with these phenomena, and speech recognition results often contain many recognition errors. NTT Communication Science Laboratories have developed discriminative training technology, which is a model training method based on learning from recognition errors. Discriminative training proceeds as follows. First, conversational speech is recognized. Second, errors in the obtained recognition result are identified. And third, the models are updated to prevent them repeating the same errors. These processes are iterated several times. As a result, recognition results with fewer errors can be obtained. In addition, we have developed a method in which discriminative training is applied to an integrated model called WFST that incorporates both the acoustic and language models. 
This method has made it possible to recognize speech by accurately capturing a variety of phenomena that occur in spontaneously uttered conversational speech. By combining the newly developed speech enhancement and discriminative training technologies, we have succeeded in dramatically improving the accuracy of conversational speech recognition. まあ人間でも結構わかんないものが多いですからね。そうですね。もう読めない言葉満載なんですよ。そうですよね。それを音声認識にやれなんてなかなか難しいですね。ほとんど記号みたいなものもありますからね。はい。でも音声認識っていうか普通に喋るときはあんまりそういう言葉って口に出しては言わなくないですか。言わないですけどね。まあ多分会社では言わないと思いますけどね<笑>。そうですよね。<笑>ええー。うんどっちかというとなんか同意義語みたいな音が同じだけど漢字を選ばなきゃいけないとかそういうのがすごい難しいですね。The results of conversational scene analysis are provided through use of our speech and audio signal processing technologies. We can identify who spoke when, what words were spoken, and also the mood and the topic of the scene. Going forward, our technology can be applied to voice-activated appliance operations in a normal daily life environment filled with a variety of noises, automatic creation of meeting minutes, and to communication robots that can participate in conversations.